Hi, it's Krista. I'm here in Lucerne Valley, California for the McKenzie 500 hosted by Moore. This is a 500 mile race through the Mojave Desert and we're covering the Engage Off-Road 1400-1450 shootout. So there was tons of excitement, a lot of enthusiasm, great drivers at the tech inspection the night before. Let's hear what some of them had to say. I'm Ryan Agus with 1448. Uh, we're out here in Lucerne for the 500. Um, I'd like to thank Agus Racing, Competitive Plumbing, OZH Fabrications. Hopefully we have a good race tomorrow. Hey, it's Craig Reynolds out here at the Moore McKenzie's 500. Getting ready to go do battle for 500 miles. I'd uh, like to thank uh, Giant Motorsports, Rigid Industries, Dirt Alliance Clothing, and uh, Engage Off-Road. Doing this for a while and uh, can't wait to go out there and see what we can get done tomorrow. Hey, how's it going? My name's Adam Linhart. We're out here at the Moore McKinsey's 500. Uh, racing the Engage Motorsports 2 Shootout 2013. Hopefully we're gonna take some money from them today. But uh, we're racing the 1427 truck, sponsored by Lucas Oil. Uh, that's pretty much it. Hopefully we'll uh, podium this race. Hi, my name's Sean Sullivan, driver and co-driver with the Good Night Racing, uh, number 1416, out here at uh, Lucerne Valley, getting ready for the McKenzie's 500. Um, Don and Kevin Knight have put a lot of time and into effort into this truck to get it ready for this weekend, and uh, I'd like to thank them. Good Night Racing, Over at Industries, Kryptonite Industries, uh, our lighting company, and Steel Nuts Off-Road for helping us with a lot of the fabrication, and uh, looking forward to having a good time. My name is Jeff Musgrave. I drive the 1423 Dust for Dogs Engage Off-Road F-150. We're out here this weekend celebrating Memorial Day, racing the McKenzie's 500 out here in Lucerne Valley. We're currently at Tech. All the guys just arrived on site and we'll begin uh, going through our normal <laughs> operations for the race. Uh, Engage Off-Road again. Thanks for your help. California Mini, um, Fast Eds, uh, Motorcycle Services this weekend as, long, uh, as well as uh, Mavericks Concrete Floor Finishing. Hi, my name is Rhonda Cook Parkhouse. This is little Ricky Johnson, and we're driving the 1496 truck sponsored by General Tire and No Wimps Clothing. Oh, and the dog clock. Go ahead. Um, we've had a rough start this year. Uh, I, oh, by the way, I'm the class points champion from last year. <laughs> um, and so we, yeah, we're having some trouble, but we're going to get this all together, and we're going to um, we're going to go out there and we're going to win tomorrow. Yep. Getting, starting the race, hopefully, hopefully do good. And the truck tour. There we go. That's how we do it. <laughs> Thank you. Hey there, I'm Mike DeCamp, driver of 1404, and this is my co-driver Bridget Rigel. We're gonna solo the race, the California 500. Uh, we represent Dynasty Off-Road Industries, uh, Tucker Tire, uh, DC Shock Service, and uh, you know we're, we don't have the most, most horsepower out here, but we're gonna. It's a race of attrition, and we're looking to have a. Uh, uh, a trouble-free race and hope to finish. Hi, my name is Ariel Verna. Uh, we're part of the ARG racing team. We got Josier, the driver, he's Aramo, and myself are drivers. And another Ariel and Bonnie are the co-pilots. It's our uh, second season in the 1450 class and uh, we hope to have a great race, 500 miles, a long race, so hopefully we can finish and uh, get a good position and uh, continue on with the rest of the championship. Yep, got a race tomorrow. I hope everybody is, uh, we, we thank Engage for having us uh, with the shootout. I hope uh, we can finish in the top three and collect some money from you guys. Uh, good luck to everybody else, all the other drivers. Everybody be safe and have a lot of fun. Thanks a lot. In just a matter of hours, this grueling race course behind me will be home to numerous trucks and buggies. They're gonna be vying to make the podium for points and bragging rights. The day got off to a great start with approximately 16 trucks in both classes taking off from the starting line. Weather conditions were ideal as the sun set high and the winds blew mildly, keeping the dust off the race course. Of course, the Mojave Desert is not a cruise through the sand, and as with any desert race, there were a number of race entries in all classes that did not make it to the end of the race. In the 1400-1450 classes, 10 trucks saw the finish line.
I stumbled upon Eric who got third place in the 1450 shootout. How do you feel? I feel great. Um, first race we've ever finished. Um, didn't get first, but I had a lot of fun and we'll be back at it next time. Bigger, better and stronger and hopefully we'll come out for the win. Awesome. What was the hardest part of the race for you? Lasting 280 miles, uh, next a little sore today, but it's just perseverance. Come into the pig, get some food and water, and get back out on the road. And awesome. So you guys felt like you did a great job getting in third, and you guys are going to be back again next year. What is it, July, I believe, is the next July, race? July is the next race. And so you'll be at that race? I'll be out there. Awesome. Anybody you want to thank? I'd like to thank friends, family, more for holding the event. My buddy Curtis, who built the truck with right performance countless hours working on it, getting it ready for race prep, co-driver David, um, you know, just every, every, every bit helps. It was a lot of fun. Great. Well, thank you for talking to us and we'll thank see you, you in July. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, so I'm here with Nathan who placed second in the 1450. Nathan, how did the race go for you? Uh, the race went great. Um, the first two laps, Chris Johnson, the uh, owner of the truck, uh, ran the first two laps. Uh, second lap, we had a one flat tire, able to change it on course and didn't lose too much time. Uh, third lap, my dad got in. He ran a solid lap, no issues at all. Uh, I got in on the fourth lap. Um, I got handed a perfectly solid truck, nothing wrong with it. Uh, we had a few overheating issues throughout the day. Uh, the last two laps I drove, it, the truck was solid. We were, um, when I hopped in, we had a six minute uh, gap between first place. So I was trying to push it a little hard, but uh, at the same time, uh, I, we would have been happy with second, so we were just trying to save the truck to make it to the finish line, and it seems like it worked. Sounds good, yeah, and so this is your truck. We're actually standing right in front of his truck right here. This is the truck that made it and got them in second place. So you feel overall it was a really good team effort. Sounds like your dad was involved and you were involved, and so you're really happy with the outcome? Very happy with the outcome. Um, Actually, there's nothing really wrong with the truck. We're actually going to try to do the Beehive Classic in two weeks in Glen Helen since the truck held up so well. Um, we did a solid prep work on the truck, and it really paid off. Sounds like it. Anybody you'd like to thank or give a shout-out to? Uh, yeah, I'd like to thank my dad, number one. Everything that I've learned fabrication-wise, driving-wise, learned from him. Really appreciate all the time he spent with me. Uh, my fiance for allowing me to spend the time to work on the truck. <laughs> right. Um, that's, you know, all friends and families that every time uh, I need a lending hand, they're there for me. Well, that's awesome, Nathan. Thank you so much for taking your time and congratulations. All right, thank you. So amidst all the excitement at the awards ceremony today, I managed to grab the ARG team who placed first in the 1450. How does everybody feel? Awesome. Nice. 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 Woo. So if I can ask, what was the hardest part of the race getting through? Did you guys stumble upon any serious problems? Just a shock tower was cracked and we had a phenomenal race yesterday. That was about it. I mean, flawless race. After three years of racing, it was the first time we actually had a flawless race. There's no issues whatsoever. That sounds amazing. That's great. So how does it feel? Did you feel, you know, feel it in the beginning before you guys started racing that you were going to take the first place or was it kind of skeptical? You weren't sure? No, you never know that. I mean, we just went for it. We were feel good and we had luck. And now you feel great because you got first place. Awesome. Great. Well, are you guys going to be racing anytime soon again? Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll be here in July again. Uh, hopefully, Engage will uh, keep this up. We appreciate uh, their support and their money, of course. And, uh, yeah, it was just a harder time getting to the race than it was uh, getting through the race. But uh, we were just looking for nut bolts on the way into to, to the race. We couldn't put the wheels on. Oh, no. Well, is there anybody else that you'd like to thank besides your team, any family members, or anybody you want to make a shout-out to? Well, I want to thank my wife for letting me be here and my daughter. My son who always supports me and goes to all our races with us, and Aww. especially our team. Uh, we had a great crew, a lot of support, a lot of chase, and uh, we thank everybody at Engage and uh, more. Well, we thank you guys, and a big congratulations for winning first place. Thank you guys for stopping and talking Thanks to us. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, so I roped in Adam, who got third place in the 1400. How do you feel after the race? Pretty good. It was a long, long race. Um, did, this is our second race of the second race ever, and uh, first race we DNF'd after like 70 miles, and this race after our second lap we broke a tie rod, and uh, the crew brought a spare out, got us fixed up, and came back after 10 hours of driving and brought in third place. So around what time did you actually finish the race? Well, it was like 8.30 at night. Jeez. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. And so now you placed in third and how does it feel to be able to take home a trophy and some, some prizes there? Oh, it's freaking awesome. Is there anybody you'd like to thank or anybody you want to give a shout out to like your team or anybody who helped you out? Yeah, definitely. I'd like to thank my wife for putting up with all this crap, um, the pit <laughs> crew, all my family and friends, Engage Motorsports for helping us out. It's awesome for more support to be coming out to the desert and stuff and more in the BLM. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Adam, for your time and congratulations All again. Right. Thank you. And I'm back with Mike and Bridget, who placed second in the 1400 shootout in truck 1404. How do you guys feel? Uh, we're really excited. We, we, you know, we didn't expect second, and uh, we, we understand we got it by two minutes, which is really scary because we had a little bit of a mishap on that last pit stop. But uh, it worked to our advantage, and we, uh, and we, we got second. We're super happy. It's our best, our best place. Uh, this year or last, and uh, and we're excited. We're hoping hoping Engage continues this because it's going to bring us back. So, what was the hardest part of the race for you guys? Were there any specific areas in the race that really tore up your truck or gave you some problems with driving? The shocks got hot. It was too bouncy. I was done. <laughs> the shocks get really heated up towards the end of the race. It, it, the the pounding. It just every bump feels intensified tenfold. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a really close call on the second lap. Uh, we thought we were going to go over, and uh, that was the only. I mean, after the second lap, it was smooth sailing, except for you know, like she said, the the shocks, you know, starting to fail and really making the you know life miserable for both of us. Here are final results for more of the six who reached the podium. Five were entered into the shootout series and pocketed their winnings, courtesy of Engage Off Road. Thank you to everyone who participated in the Engage Off-Road Triple Shootout. Without the local racers, this would not have been a success. This is Krista Lynn of the Dirty Lens Cap signing off. So until next time, prep those trucks, dust off those race suits, and we will see you out in the desert.